a couple nights ago we were out here about midnight or a little bit after midnight unloading ah that's just nice yikes right on the eyelid well folks they're back all the way from california we put these bees out here at the newton location right here where they were last year uh, a couple nights ago we were out here late at night i think we dropped them off about midnight just let them sit here yesterday and i haven't been back to look at these bees at all and so i'm eager to get into them and just kind of take a quick walk through show you what they're doing and see how they're looking at the pollination bees uh, coming back from california it's been a rough year uh, things haven't gone as planned with these pollination bees but just from a brief glance looking at them there are bees flying everywhere they look pretty strong the first thing I want to show you is quite possibly the largest swarm I've ever seen. That thing is probably three to four feet long, tall, a foot wide. It's huge. That thing could easily fill up a double deep. I've never seen a swarm that big before. All right, we'll just peek in on a few of them here. Let's we'll start off with this one right here. Just random. It doesn't look super strong from the bee activity, so let's see if there's any bees in here. What do y'all think? Just a couple of bugs, huh? Wow, check them out. Oh yeah, we got us some bugs. Definitely got some bees. Not quite as strong, but there's definitely bees in there. Looking good. So one thing I noticed the other night when we were shifting some of these boxes around, let me see the weight. Yeah, there's a lot of bees, but not a lot of weight. And we do have a flow beginning here. Got some bees in there, not super strong, but definitely some bees. Oh yeah. Once again though, I think the weight is gonna be low. Yes, they're just not heavy at all. God, they don't want anything. That one, if, it, if it's even a live colony, it's pretty weak. Just got a few bees here in the top. Yeah, I think it might be a live colony. <sighs> or they could just be robbing it out, I don't know. Don't really have time to go into them real deep uh, right now today. There we go. So you kind of see what we got, got going on here. These are some that stay behind right here. Yep, that's a dead out right there. Flip that one upside down. How about this one? It's kind of strange because, yeah, weak. I noticed a couple of pallets looked really weak when they were coming off the truck. And I just wonder if they were in a particular location there in the almonds where they just didn't get as much nutrition as they needed like some of these others. I don't know. I really don't know how they set them up out there. Well, that's on the same pallet and those look pretty darn good, but once again, Oh, just no weight at all. Wow. They're about a month later than they were last year. So they've been sitting out there. I think they were probably, I imagine, kind of heavy after the almonds were done, but I don't know if there's anything else from the forge out there or not. But anyway, look at that. Once again, though, I think they're light. Oh, that one's actually, that one actually has some weight to it. Oh, not much. It's still pretty light, so... That one's got a little honey in it, you can tell, a little weight to it. Overall, pretty pleased. Here's another dead out right here, I think. Yeah, there's a dead out. I anticipated a little bit of loss, you know, maybe four or five colonies is kind of what you expect. That one's missing a frame, look at that. What on earth? That's crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's missing two frames. I have no idea. I wonder if that fell off the truck or something or got knocked over and ended up without a couple of frames. I don't know. It's pretty hard on them going to California, honestly. Pretty weak. So we got some mixed results here. Yep. Pretty average. That one's going to be really heavy. Full of bees. Look at that. Wow. Let me get set up and we'll actually go through a couple of these and just see what the breed looks like. Yeah, this one looks pretty good, doesn't it? 
This is the first one we looked in a little while ago. Lightweight though, man, not much weight at all. Uh, we got some honey on them right there. Let me taste it, see if it's almond honey. Almond honey is not historically very good, at least in my experience. Let's see if it tastes like the nastiness of almond honey. I don't know if that doesn't taste like almond honey. That doesn't taste bad at all. Let's see what we got. I want to just, if I see brood, if I see eggs, we're going to call it a, an inspection. I don't want to go in here really and disturb them too much. I don't expect to see a lot of uh, maybe eggs and stuff either because they have been through a traumatic trip across the country and I'm sure they kind of just shut down when all that's going on. I imagine it's a difficult time for them on that semi truck. Okay, y'all probably can't see it. Right in here, there are eggs and, and young larvae. Yep, we got eggs, so don't see a lot of uh, significant brood in here though, honestly, as far as like sheets of brood. But there definitely are some eggs and there's a little bit of brood right here. Um, there's some more right there. So it looks pretty good. All right, that's all I'm gonna check on this one. Haven't seen any queen cells. Yeah, we're good. We are all good on that. Let's check that one out right there. This one actually had four little dots right here, which meant that it was a strong, really strong one back before they left. All right, looks pretty good. Yeah, we got a little brood here, a little larvae in there. Yep, got some larvae in there. Really very little food though. We've got a flow kicking in here though, so I think they're gonna probably be okay. I hope so anyway. Larva, yeah, this one's looking good. All right, here's the probiotic I'm using. I'm not sure how necessary this is, but I do believe it'll kind of help them recover uh, after this long trip they've had. I, I kind of believe in this stuff. I, I haven't used it enough to really know of any objective uh, benefits of it, but couldn't hurt them, and I think it'll help them be more healthy. It's from Strong Microbials. It's a Super DFM P801 a premium probiotic for honeybees. So I'm just gonna go and apply this to all the colonies that are living right now. Maybe help them get a little jump start on their, their time back. It comes in a bag like this. This box was enough to treat 500 colonies. I used it on all these colonies before they left. That's what it looks like. It's got a little spoon in here with the dosage. Just kind of shake it over the bees. And then you put the lid on. And hopefully that'll just help them with their gut health and help them just get reestablished and get rolling. Because these bees have got to make me some honey this year, and, and I think they will. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the probiotic on all the living colonies out here, including the ones that were left behind. Uh, this is pretty typical for what I'm finding here. Three super strong ones, one that's mediocre at best. Then I've had some pals that are all strong and some that are kind of mediocre, a little bit weak. So it's kind of a hit or miss, but most of them are looking pretty good, I would say. Not too shabby. Looking pretty good. Okay, I checked on all of them, got them all treated. We have 33 that were quite strong, eight that were kind of mediocre. By mediocre, I mean maybe six to eight frames of bees, uh, maybe nine, just mediocre. And then we had seven that were very weak, and then we have four dead outs. And so overall, most of them were pretty good. It's been extremely stressful on these bees though. They were out there way too long. And so these results are not, super bad. I'd rather them all be strong, but that's just not how it works out sometimes. All right, I recruited Justin to help me today. Thanks for coming, Justin. Or he kind of recruited himself. He, uh, he called me and asked if I had bee work to do, and sure enough, I did. So we're going through these pollination bees. I just thought I'd do a quick little follow-up here. What we're doing is, any of them that are strong enough mm -hmm. with plenty of bees and brood, we're using Formic Pro. Most of the ones that aren't strong enough, I don't have a lot of brood in them. Uh, maybe they've got a new queen in there, maybe just starting to lay, or they're just a little bit weaker. We're gonna use oxalic acid vapor on them. We've gotten through the first, let's see, six, seven, eight. He's working on the ninth pallet now, so we got about four to go. And uh, that's what we're doing. We're gonna get them set up, hopefully for uh, success, and get the mice under control, and then hopefully make a little honey out here at this bee yard. Scraping off the bird home there. Well, Justin and I, we, we finished this up here. What'd you think, Justin? A lot of fun, I enjoy it. Uh, a lot of strong ones, a lot of mediocre ones. Uh, we treated the ones that didn't have 
uh, much brood in them with oxalic acid vapor if they were pretty much uh, broodless or uh, too weak for the Formic Pro. We treated a lot of them with Formic Pro and we did find some more that uh, were dead out, so they weren't strong enough to survive. And so, anyway, overall, the pollination bees, uh, they look pretty good, most of them. I don't know, I'm not super excited about the results, but I just thought I'd give a little follow up on what we did today, uh, four days after I checked them, the first part of the video. We're going to get some lunch. If you'd like to see the video, we'll be caught on Gigantic Swarm right above my head right here. You can watch that video right here. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.